So we'll take a, a quick look at the um, various components that are required for um, making a conventional fire alarm panel into a radio conventional fire alarm panel. Um, Zyton has had a, an addressable version of this for a very long time and um, it's very good and they've the new hub and cluster range and, and um, all sorts of other stuff that you can you can find out um, a little bit more about on videos here and on the website. But they've recently come out with a, a specific one for conventional systems, which is, um, I suppose, based on the, the perceived need for a, a more basic system. It works on, on more or less the same principle, only it takes a, a conventional zone on your fire alarm panel and it turns that zone into a, a wireless um, a wireless zone. So <clears throat> in this particular scenario here, I just have one um, sounder indicator and one multi-sensor to go with that so they're the exact same whether you're doing it on the conventional or the addressable system you'll you'll use the same um, same units on those so it's the the zor 7013 pav for the the sounder base with with indicator and that's the the multi-sensor so if you need a heat detector or a smoke detector you get the multi-sensor and then you can decide which which you need for that um but there's a couple of key components here so with the with the conventional system you need um, just to make your your conventional fire alarm panel. You're you're going to need these two units anyway. This is the conventional interface, and what we do here is we we install a, a card here, which turns the the conventional inputs and output units on the the interface card into the equivalent of a, a zone on a conventional fire alarm panel and a, the sounder output. So that's how we monitor for for fault and sounder on this. Um, this card just actually just plugs in here these terminals come out and this is the same interface that you would see if you were using the addressable system and you needed a conventional interface so this gets this additional card and that allows us to wire um, a zone straight into it so when we um, what you need is a, a effectively a conventional fire alarm panel um, so if a minimum one or two zones that, that, that type of thing and you will dedicate one complete zone on your conventional panel to the radio zone and you can put um, 30 of these devices uh, connected to that radio system then. So how it works is the the radio end of it gets um, terminated into here and then there's the, the, the instructions for this are pretty straightforward. So there's there's um, important things about putting your your communication um your wireless communicator conventional wireless communicator and your input unit they have to be half a meter apart and um, a little distance from the control panel as well so on on all the diagrams here it's shown the zyton zp1 panel but you can you know you can use any conventional panel once you have it once you have it connected up right so the the instructions are are, are pretty clear on it and um, when we run through it it shows where our terminations are for the various various loops and everything else and we've our you know we've on the zp1 we obviously have 24 volt augs output on it um but you'll need to get your 24 volt somewhere so if your conventional panel doesn't have that you're going to need to find that somewhere <clears throat> we have our various uh, outputs so on this communicating card here that gets gets installed which goes in here um we come from the the loop down into our into our um standard conventional zone and that means when that card activates it tells the fire alarm panel to ring on zone one so you know pretty pretty straightforward um really where you're saving the money here is you're not putting in an addressable panel and uh, and that type of stuff so if, if if it's really a key thing or if you have an existing conventional system and you really just need to extend it by one or two devices um and don't want to go to the the cost or the the difficulty of upgrading it to a fully addressable system it's it's something to consider um we've used them it's kind of limited applications but they seem to be getting more and more popular yeah, as they go on so this is the um the wireless uh io unit that's essential so you're you're going to need one of them anyway just just to get the the, the system started that's the termination block to go with this card so that's a standard interface and then it gets this card which um allows it interface more directly and then this is the conventional wireless communicator unit and this is a little bit like if you're familiar with the hub and cluster um it's it's a, a a similar kind of arrangement to that you power this up you'll pull the head and um when you when you have it in its search mode 
you um, activate the head here, it automatically sees it, it displays up on the screen, and then that's it enrolled. So what happens here is if this actually detects fire, this unit sees the fire coming in, and it tells the relay in the interface unit to change, and then it activates your conventional zone on your fire alarm panel. So that you know it's it's pretty straightforward. That's a very very quick overview of that. Um, if you need any more information on the conventional addressable fire alarm, or sorry, the conventional radio fire alarm, um, you can give us a, a call in the office or um, get us by email info at comsec.ie. Thanks very much.